So, today we will demonstrate uh, how to measure the viscosity of liquid. So, as I discussed in previous class uh, about the theory of the, of the viscosity of liquid. So, this uh, as I told that viscosity is defined by say so eta equal to minus f by a d v by d r. Okay. So, what is f? f is viscous force, a is area of moving layer of liquid and d v by d r is basically velocity gradient. Okay. So, uh, viscosity of a liquid that viscosity you will feel when liquid will move, liquid will flow, then liquid basically uh, when it flows, it feel resistance, internal resistance that is that is called the viscous force. It is uh, uh, so, when it is moving in a particular direction. So, this viscous force basically it is in opposite direction. So, as you know there are this in case of uh, solid solid in that case this uh, frictional force. So, here also is the equivalent to frictional force. Okay. So, when a liquid column say say here I have drawn this red cylinder. Okay. So, this inner diameter of the cylinder is capital R and this uh, black cylinder that inside. So, this the I, uh, I have shown this as a liquid column which is basically this liquid is flowing through this, uh, uh, this, this is capillary tube basically. So, when liquid flow flowing through this capillary tube that tubes internal resistance uh, uh, this uh, radius is capital R and here just I have chosen here just I have chosen this uh, uh, this black uh, the cylindrical column of liquid. So, this all liquid are uh, moving, but just I have considered uh, one column. So, this cylindrical column this radius of this cylindrical column of water in this case we have we, we have take we will use water. Uh, for finding out the viscosity. So, you can use other liquid also. So, this small L basically this radius of this of this uh, uh, water column and which is uh, basically uh, this is a part of the of the of the uh, liquid inside this uh, uh, cylinder. So, that is basically moving and the velocity if I consider at the at 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 from the center at distance r. Okay. So, this velocity v and uh, and at distance v at distance r plus d r velocity is uh, v plus d v or v minus d v actually v minus d v velocity decrease when uh, velocity is maximum maximum at the at the at the center when you are going towards the surface of the cylinder uh, then velocity will decrease so that is basically minus so velocity difference will be minus dv at distance perpendicular distance dr so that dv by dr is basically the velocity gradient okay and this minus sign here because of that uh, because this uh, uh, with distance here distance we are measuring from the center. So, their velocity is maximum when we are going this perpendicular distance towards the uh, towards the cylinder uh, cylinder uh, surface. So, this velocity is decreased. So, that is why d v by d r that we have to write minus d v by d r. So, that minus is basically this minus. Okay. So, this is the velocity gradient and this force per unit area there is nothing but pressure. So, if if pressure difference between these two end okay, water is flowing from this end to the other end. So, this pressure difference is in this in this end it is p plus d p 
and other end if it is p. So, this direction in opposite direction. So, uh, net pressure difference between these two end is basically uh, d p. So, uh, so, f by a it is nothing but pressure. So, this this one can replace f by a by d p. Okay. So, this is the velocity viscosity we tell coefficient of viscosity or simply viscosity. So, that is nothing but the uh, viscous force per unit area per unit area of moving layer of liquid and per unit velocity gradient. Okay. So, this is the definition of viscosity. So, we want to measure this viscosity of a liquid here we will choose liquid this uh, 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 this water. Okay. So, basically we will measure viscosity of uh, of water. Okay. So, uh, so we have to we have to uh, develop theory for an experiment. So, in which way you want to do the experiment. So, first you have to develop the theory. Okay. So, there is a uh, Poiseuille's, uh, Poiseuille's law or Poiseuille's equation. So, this equation is d v by d t equal to pi r to the power 4 divided by 8 eta l del p. Okay. So, here basically uh, uh, this geometry of the experiment is, is like this. If if length of a of a capillary tube is capital L and pressure difference between these two end is if it is uh, del P and the radius of the of the uh, this capillary tube internal radius of the capillary tube if it is capital R okay, and viscosity of this uh, of this uh, uh, liquid here it is water if it is eta then uh, rate of rate of change of volume of water which, which is uh, uh, passing through the uh, through the through the uh, capillary tube under this pressure under this pressure difference so then this dv by dt this v is volume rate of change of volume uh, or the uh, rate of change of uh, volume of water which coming out from this uh, from this uh, tube from this capillary tube that is equal to this this relation pi r to the four 8 eta l del p okay so this so uh, for our uh, experimental setup this is the working formula. So, if this is the working formula, so, so what we will do this for a particular tube, it has particular radius r capital R and it has particular length L. Now, this, this part is constant for a particular tube. Now, experiment we can do what we have to do mainly we have to measure d v by d t for pressure difference del p. So, uh, here you can see uh, if we if we plot graph of d v by d t as a uh, function of del p, then we will get a linear curve. So, gradient of this linear curve will be this pi r to the power 4 8 eta l. So, from graph I will get the gradient that will be equal to this r of the uh, tube I have to measure length of the tube I have to measure then from there I can find out the eta. Okay. So, this is the uh, uh, this is the working formula for measuring the viscosity of liquid for a particular this geometry experimental geometry. So, I will show this experimental geometry now. So, this is the experimental setup. Okay. 
So, here uh, basically I have to take a capillary tube. So, this is the capillary tube, this is the capillary tube. Okay. So, to create pressure difference between these two end of this capillary tube, you see this this the this the basically this this the length of the capillary tube. Okay. So, I have similar capillary tube here not similar same exactly same uh, radius same radius and uh, same length of the uh, of that uh, of the same tube. So, uh, I can show you that it is the length is same exactly its length is same and also its diameter also same. So, diameter also same I think this is the yeah this is very small diameter. Okay. So, uh, so, so this uh, tube capillary tube we have put here, we have put here. Okay. So, now this is the tube, I have to measure the length of this tube and radius of the tube. So, that we will do later on, that we will do later on. So, let me keep it here. So, I have this tube here now. Now, for the experiment what I have to do? I have to create pressure difference between these two end and then I have to measure the uh, water flow rate in volume uh, that I have to measure. Okay. So, for this, this is the arrangement here. So, water will flow and we will collect this water in a, in a beaker or, or, or measuring, uh, yeah, measuring tube volume measuring tube here this is the I think 50 no this is the 100 ml tube. Okay. So, we will use this uh, uh, beaker or this measuring tube for measuring the uh, volume of the water for a particular uh, time. Uh, so, then this volume divided by that time that will be the basically uh, dv by dt as we uh, we have seen in the working formula. Okay. So, now uh, for now, how we are creating the pressure difference between these two end. So, that uh, uh, that basically this is the arrangement for this. So, creating pressure difference between these two end, this is the arrangement, this is the arrangement. Okay. So, this basically called monometer or mono uh, manu, manometer or manostat. Okay. So, this uh, this setup is mono manostat or manometer. So, here what is the principle of, of this to creating the pressure difference? Here you see, so you know this water all the time it uh, it, it maintain the uh, level. Okay. So, here uh, we put water, we put water and here you can see there is a small hole actually continuously we should uh, put water here and then uh, additional water will will flow through this it is uh, go out, but here just we uh, we, uh, we just kept uh, uh, yeah closed it because manually just will maintain this uh, this height okay, during the experiment just we will put water and we will maintain this height all the time we will try to maintain this uh, height putting uh, this water manually. Okay. And other option as I told this you can drainage out this water continuously and you can pour the water continuously. So, if I maintain this level of the water, so here also here you can see, here you can see this uh, this end this is basically it is connected, it is connected with this end okay. and other other one other column is connected with the other end. Okay. So, uh, this this two water level of these two end these two in these two column it should be supposed to be at the same level, but here you are seeing at the different level. That is because of this just there is a slight flow of water, uh, there is a slight flow of water. So, that is why uh, uh, this difference is there. If I just stop this flow of water, if I just stop this flow of water just you can see you can see this water level are same it should be same as this water level of this one. Okay. So, initially 
uh, water level of these two are the same. Now, if if there is a water flow, then there will be here uh, pressure difference. So, it is vice versa. If pressure difference is there, then there will be water flow or if water flow is there, then there will be pressure dif difference between these two end. Okay. So, here just we uh, I am not uh, disturbing this end because just we kept uh, uh, one constant water flow. So, just let it be there. So, some water is you see flowing, uh, water is coming out uh, drop wise. So, that means water is flowing through this. So, there must be pressure difference between these two end and that you can see here this pressure difference. So, one has to take reading. So, one, one should wait for first, one should wait and one should wait and just let it be stable uh, and then you should take reading. Here it is this one is 44 more or less 44 or 43.9 okay. and this other one is 42 or it is 41.9, 41.9, 43.9. So, difference is 2 centimeter, okay. difference is 2 centimeter. So, that difference you can control, you can control just controlling the uh, flowing rate of water. So, uh, flowing rate of water you can control either here or you can control uh, here also. Okay. So, we will prefer to control at this end. Okay. So, uh, so, you can see if I control, if I just yeah, if I just control the water flow this is coming down, it is coming down and but anyway I need this uh, basically a difference between these two. Okay. So, uh, uh, yes, so I think uh, this the here reading is now uh, ok. So, from here I think it is uh, you cannot uh, uh, you cannot from here I think this yeah. So, one has to be uh, yes. So, yeah. So, uh, only controlling here because this uh, I just tightened it. So, that is why this uh, here this water coming in is very its rate is small, but here just it was opened. Okay. So, water was going out fast. So, that is why this they came down and again just we uh, uh, just tighten it. So, then it has come up. Okay. So, anyway, so controlling the flow of water in and controlling the flow of water out, basically we can adjust the uh, pressure difference. Okay. So, uh, we, we have to first keep at a particular pressure difference and then for that pressure difference I have to measure d v by d t okay. means uh, we have to collect water volume of water for a for a certain time t then we can find out d v by d t that is basically d v v by t. Okay. So, uh, so for that I need uh, uh, stopwatch, I have this stopwatch. Uh, so, this uh, start, so this position of the stopwatch is basically uh, 0 0.01 second. Okay. So, this varying very fast 0 0.01 second and this, this one 12, 13, 14, 15 and other one is very difficult to read it, but uh, so this position of this uh, stop was is 0 0.01 second. So, start then I can stop it, okay. then this is the reset, okay. start, stop, reset. Okay. So, watch is uh, fine, this um, uh, stop uh, clock is fine, so I will use this one. So, here uh, what I will do? Now, I have taken this reading, pressure reading here now, now this pressure is basically uh, yeah. So, before starting we have to maintain this, maintain this water level 
okay. uh, then I have to see the pressure difference here that is uh, uh, reading is 4p 4.3 and this is 43 yeah this is 43 and this is 44.3 uh, okay so that's a 1.3 that's the pressure difference so for that there is a uh, rate of flow of water this rate of flow of water now what i will do i will collect the water so for this condition under this condition okay so i have to when i will take in so i have to start watch so let us start let us start yes i I start this uh, stopwatch. So, let it be uh, here for some time. So, we can see also this uh, uh, water is, uh, is poured in drop by drop and from here I can see. So, clock is uh, running and also I think this water is yes, water. So, we have to decide that uh, how much water you can you want to collect. So, I think at least you should collect uh, 20, 30, uh, okay, 40 ml uh, water okay. and then uh, when it will be around that 40, 30, 40 or whatever. So, then we will stop the watch. So, you see now water level is here, water level is here. So, so we have to wait. So, it is just 59, just one, one minute. It is a one minute, three second, four second, five second, six, seven, eight. So, uh, uh, we are collecting water for, uh, for some times, okay, when there will be reasonable amount of water. So, now question is, uh, question is you are collecting water. So, how long you should collect? Now, I can stop it. But you have to think that this error, you have to calculate error for this experiment. So, V by T that term will be there. So, you know this error is uh, 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 on this for del V and this del T that will be additive okay. and relative error del V by V and del T by T. Okay. So, uh, del V by V, del V by V. So, if V is more, del V is constant that is this the, uh, this the I think 1 millimeter, uh, 1 milliliter I think this uh, uh, list count of this uh, measuring cylinder. So, uh, that is there. So, now V is in your hand. So, if we collect more, uh, more volume, so, your error will be distributed over this volume. Okay. So, del V by V, if V is higher, obviously del V by V will be less. Okay. So, similarly, uh, time also del T by T, del T is constant, del T is constant uh, for, this, uh, for, for this watch. Now, time, how much time you will take that is in your hand. So, always it is better to take longer time always it is better to take a higher volume. Okay. So, then thus you can reduce the percentage error. So, let us see how much here, here reading it is around, uh, yes I have to rotate it probably, I think to see the reading where I can, yeah, it is, uh, it is 50, it is between uh, 40 and 50. So, it is now I can see. Uh, so, when it will be 50, just I will stop. When it will be 50, I will stop, I will stop. Okay. So, it is uh, yes, yeah, I think this the 50, I guess. Yes, yeah. So, these are 50, I will stop it. Okay. So, now uh, for 50 ml. What is the time now? This 3 uh, minute 40, I think this the 3 minute 46 second and this point, this, this is 13.13. Okay. So, 3 minute 
means 3 into 6 to 180 minute plus 46 point 13 second okay so 180 plus 46.13 so that is the that is the time t and your volume is 50 ml so now you can find out v by t that is dv by dt uh, equal to dv by dt okay so so that's all this is the experiment uh, this is the one set of the experiment now you can repeat the experiment for for other other another pressure okay so here you see the pressure difference is increased because water level no it's a water level more or less same but you have to check whether no it is a 43 point uh, now 4 and it is yes it's change uh, so it should not change so you have to maintain the water level here so that's uh, one has to be careful or also it may happen that it's a rate of water flow is very high so one may reduce that one so anyway so now i can change the pressure difference uh, yes i can change the pressure difference i think this we can we should take out and okay so here so we have to wait to stable stabilize it okay we have to wait to stabilize it okay so you have to you have to take another another pressure so here water level you have to keep uh, uh, yes more or less at the same height so you have to you have to take another another uh, height here this time is height is uh, uh, yeah it is a 41.7 and here 44.2 44.5 so it's a now pressure difference is higher than earlier one so again you can repeat the experiment so at least you need to take this experiment for 4 to 5 uh, uh, set because we have to plot the uh, graph dv by dt uh, versus the uh, del p okay pressure difference so for at least for 4 to 5 or 6 pressure difference we have to we have to repeat the experiment and uh, then you will have the 6 data now that data you plot on in the graph find out the Mm, gradient and from that gradient as I told from gradient as I told you have to uh, you have to find out this one okay this gradient this one now this r and l we have to measure so l you can measure uh, basically um, just u scale for measuring l just u scale okay because this length is I think more than 10 centimeters I think it is more than 10 centimeters on yeah it is 15 centimeters okay it is it is looks exactly 15 centimeter fine. So, now this radius you have to measure either using the mercury as I told in case of surface tension using the mercury you can uh, find out the radius or using the using the traveling microscope using the traveling microscope you can uh, measure the you can measure the uh, but you have to be careful just you have to tighten it careful because it's made of glass so using this traveling microscope you can measure the diameter okay so so you have to focus this whole of this uh, uh, of this uh, uh, tube capillary tube and then this cross wire of this vertical cross wire of this uh, of the of this uh, microscope that you have to you have to just make coincide with the left edge take the reading take the reading of this horizontal uh, scale on this horizontal scale and then uh, shift it towards the right and then 
uh, again this crosshair vertical crosshair should coincide with this uh, right edge okay. and then again you take reading. So, difference of this reading will give the diameter and half of it is the basically uh, radius. Okay. So, that is way that way you, you, you have this now r as well as l and from graph you have this gradient value. So, from there you can find out the eta. Okay. So, uh, in uh, next class I will explain, uh, I, will, I, will, I will show you data and uh, tell how to analyze the data, how to find out the this eta value, viscosity value as well as um, how to calculate the error. So, I will stop here. Thank you.